The District 8C Boys quarterfinals just concluded right here at Great Falls High. Let's take a look at the four teams that will be advancing to tomorrow's semifinals. Starting off with Great Falls Central Catholic, taking on the top-seeded Rams from Winnegrass Range. Rams playing fast in transition. Jace Bantz makes the extra pass to Brady Bantz for the bunny. That put them ahead 15-11 in the second. Mustang staying within striking distance. Parker Keats hits Jonah Perry for the mid-range jumper. Central hanging around as they still trail by only four. But the Rams eventually picked up the pace. Jace Bantz with the steal and the breakaway finish as WGR cruises to the semis. Next up, the 4-5 matchup between the DGSG Bearcats and the Centerville Miners. Miners saw their 12-point lead vanish in the second half, but this jumper by Caden Olsen has them on top by four. Less than 30 seconds to go. Axel Becker puts up the three and knocks it down. Bearcats down to 53-52 with 10 seconds remaining in the game. Centerville put in two free throws and now the last second effort. Ty Smith can't get the tying shot to go, but Blaze Becker is there for the cleanup and the official calls a foul right before the buzzer sounds. Becker makes the first and purposely missed the second. Smith is there for the tying shot once again, but he just can't get it to fall as the Miners hang on to win 55-53. Game 3 featured the second-seeded Belt Huskies and the seventh-seeded Highwood Mountaineers. It was all business for the Huskies in this one. Already with a 20-point lead in the third, Declan Bergstrom adds to it with a corner three. Highwood showing no signs of quitting. Trayton Tenson takes it up and puts it in off the glass to add two more for the Mountaineers. But the belt offense was just too much to handle as the Huskies rolled in this one, punching their ticket to the semifinals. They'll play the winner of this one, Hobson Moore and Roy Winifred in the nightcap. Big lead for the Outlaws in the second half, and it just continues to grow as Adrian Martin takes the bump and knocks down the jumper. Time running out in the third quarter. Jackson Swans with a quick fire from the short corner, but the Titans have a lot of work to do in the fourth quarter. But ultimately, it will be Roy Winifred picking up a huge win as they secure the final spot in the semifinals. Semifinal games will tip off at 4 p.m. with the girls going first and the boys to follow. For all your district tournament updates, make sure to check out montanasports.com. From the Swarthout Fieldhouse, I'm Dante Williams, MTN Sports.